Hey guys, it's Alan from SweatingUntilHappy.com. If you remember a few weekends ago, I, I had a big announcement that I was going to do an indoor triathlon. Well, I wanted to share with you my experiences. Um, the event was, I believe, three weekends ago. Um, overall, had an amazing time. Um, left there wanting to do more triathlons. I think I got bit by the bug. Um, so I'll talk about that a little bit later. But, um... So, like I said, it was Lifetime Fitness was doing an indoor triathlon. It was an hour event. Um, I was part of the first wave at 8 a.m. So, me and my brother-in-law, who did the event with me, got to the gym around 7.30. Um, you know, got our numbers on. on our, uh, well, actually, they put them on our hands. I don't, I don't even know what the numbers mean, but they put numbers on each of our hands. Um, got to the locker room, got to our swim gear, got our goggles, head out to the lap pool. Um, there's two people to a lane, we shared a lane, and um, basically we just waited till 8 o'clock. When 8 o'clock came around, everyone jumped in the water, and um, we were off. My goal for the swim portion was just to swim nonstop, and that's what I did. Um, a lot of people were doing this, you know, the normal stroke, I'm not sure what it's called. Me personally, I cannot do that stroke efficiently for long distance swim swims. Um, I don't know the technique. I really need to take some lessons or something. Um, I mean, I know how to do it, but not properly. So I end up using too much energy, not getting enough air, and I ended up getting tired and I'm having to stop. So I stuck to this stroke. <laughs> but um, I swam for the full, full 10 minutes, uh, roughly 263 meters. Um, it felt great, like, and I didn't stop. So that was really what my goal was for that portion of the, uh, the event. Uh, after the 10 minute swim, we hopped out of the pool, headed to the shower, not, not the shower, to the locker room to get in, into our uh, biking uh, slash running gear. Basically, we had a 10 minute transition. So, did that, ran up to the spin bike studio, hopped on the bikes. We had 30 minutes on the bikes to ride as many miles as possible. Um, my goal for the biking portion was just not to stop either. Um, I can bike 30 minutes, but I haven't been able to bike more than 10 minutes on a spin bike up until that point because the seat hurts my rear <laughs> and end up having to get up and take a break but uh, luckily I wore my padded uh, bicycle shorts and I was able to ride for the full 30 minutes which was what my goal was uh, I ended up doing 7.4 miles um, and I also used spin shoes for the first time ever you know I bought spin shoes probably about eight months ago um, because I was at a store that was going out of business they had them on sale for like $25 and I was like you know what I might use these one day so I bought them and I ended up using them, loved them. I highly recommend spin shoes. If you do take spin class, uh, it really changes the physics of the motion, uh, makes it a little bit more efficient, engages more muscles, which is a good thing, and uh, makes it an overall more enjoyable experience. Um, after the, the biking portion, we had five minutes to get to the treadmill. Now this is the part I was dreading the most. I do not like long distance running. I like sprinting for short distances. Um, my goal for running was to run as far as I could and then to walk, run again, walk, run again for the full 20 minutes. Um, I don't know, about five minutes into the run, uh, I had been jogging for five minutes. At a, at a, uh, I think the speed was four. You know, really not, not a fast pace, just a, a slow, constant pace. And I, and I just something came over me. I don't know if it was the positive energy or you know just the adrenaline or just me wanting to push myself. I decided I was going to try to run a mile continuously, nonstop. Something I have never done in my life. You know, I was a kid in middle school and high school who never dressed out on the day we had the mile test because I couldn't run a mile. So if, to me, at 32 years old, and attempt to run a mile is a huge thing for me. Um, and I'm happy to say I ran my first official mile in 15 minutes non-stop and Joe who is a trainer at Lifetime Fitness and also helped out with the event was kind enough to record it for me I'm going to show that video right now about to hit it still can't believe I ran a freaking mile it was a slow mile, but I ran a mile non-stop. Unbelievable. You have no idea how great I felt inside. Um, and what happened was when I hit the mile, I was like, hey, 
There's only five minutes left. I can run another five minutes. And I, my goal was to push myself and to run the full 20 minutes. And guys, let me show you the video. How do you feel? Awesome. <laughs> Good work. 1.3655. I ran for 20 minutes non-stop continuously and I couldn't be more shocked. Uh, I've never in my life done that, like I said. Never thought I would ever be able to do that. Um, but I did. And I don't know, I just, it, it was a cra crazy, um, you know, crazy feeling inside uh, to do something that I've been waiting for 32 years for. Um, overall, it was such a great event. I mean, the people were amazing. Lifetime did a great job of organizing the event. The people who were doing the event with me were just so supportive of each other. We all were pushing each other, saying kind words, you know, uh, just, it was a positive environment. I love positive people. I mean, I just love it. I love seeing people push people to the, you know, to the, to the next level. Even though they're also trying to, you know, beat them or beat themselves, it didn't matter. We were all there, we were all together, and we were all going to start together, and we were all going to finish together, and we weren't going to leave anybody behind. Um, so, I left the gym, you know, feeling like I want to do more triathlons. <laughs> I got bit by the tri bug, if you will. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do another one. I know I want to do a sprint triathlon. I'm thinking within the next year I'll do that. I'm um, starting to you know, research them more. I'm, I'm going to work on my swimming. I'm going to work on my running. I'm um, looking into getting a bike so I can practice uh, you know, riding. And um, I'm really hoping within the next year I'll do a sprint triathlon. Uh, I don't want to get too focused or take focus away from my weight loss. I'm not saying you can't lose weight and train for a triathlon. But I just don't want to divert the focus onto that and not what the, the bigger goal I hand right now for me is, which is losing weight. Um, so that's something I have to think about and I have to work through. But I'm pretty sure within the next year I'll do a sprint triathlon. You know, guys, 2013 for me is all about stepping outside of my comfort zone, doing things that scare me, knocking down the walls that I've built over, over the years. I'm telling myself I'm too slow, I'm too overweight. Not fit enough, not quick enough, not fast enough, not good enough. I want to knock down all those walls. I have to continuously do things that push me outside of that comfort zone. And it's not just about weight loss or fitness or health. I mean, it affects everything. It affects my, like, my weight loss, my health, my fitness, my relationships, my career, my overall life. I need to have you know, that little bit of confidence you know, to do new things, to not be scared to step out and, and uh, experience things and enjoy life. And by doing these little things that, you know, pushes me and makes me step out of that zone, it gives me just a little, that little bit of confidence that I need to, you know, to maybe try something new the next day or a month from now or a year from now. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same. Continuously push yourself. You know, 2013 is still, we're still into it, you know, only three months. It's March. Um, so have plenty of time to reach your goals, to push yourself, to do whatever you want. Whatever your goal is, you can still reach it. You have time to, to continue to excel towards it. You have time to turn things around. If it's not been going good so far, um, it's really up to you. And I hope you guys reach all of your goals. I, can, I thank you for your continued support. Um, you know, the kindness you guys always share for me, show for me, it, it, I can't tell you how much it means to me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, and I hope that I can in some way help you, help yourself, since you guys have helped me so much. Um, but that's what I want to share with you guys today. Uh, thank you again, and we'll talk to you guys soon.